and welcome back to Circuit the World. My name is Alice and today we are back opening another drive crate box. Here we go. It is November's drive crate box. I cannot remember the theme. So let's just not dilly dally. Let's just get on in it and find out what, uh, what the theme is. As per usual, I will try and give you, in fact, I'll give you the first look up here this time. How about that? Ready? Da 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 da. Genuinely can't see this time. What's in there? Jewel of the Desert. Okay, hang on. Just got to move my keyboard so I don't accidentally hit the space bar and stop the recording. Oh! <gasps> wow! That's so cool! <laughs> Let's breathe. Let's all take a moment. That's very cool, though. So here we go. Jewel in the Desert is November's theme. I'm going to take a little peek on the inside just to see if it tells me my circuits. A little peek on the inside. I don't know. Okay, I don't know if it's, I don't know what circuit it is, but we're dueling in the desert. That's what we're looking at. I'm gonna first show you the thing I got very excited about, and that is this shiny ass thing. Look at it shine. Wow. That is amazingly cool. It's a sticker, by the way, um, I think. But it's so shiny. Ah, <gasps> oh, I'm like a magpie. I just like shiny things. That's very cool. I very much like this. We're up to an amazing start. Um, wow, okay. The box feels very packed as well. Again, another little circuit, which I don't already have. Let's try and take it bit by bit. Another circuit signs. We know how much I love these. There's one in the background. I copied I got another one in the last box that has not made it to the wall yet. Nice thing about the new bag, because the bags used to be white. Nice thing about the new bag, I cannot tell you what is in it. So we get to find out together. How exciting. God, I'm high on excitement. <gasps> Ooh, ooh, okay. Ah, it's a pit board. It's a Raikkonen pit board. P1, apparently. Not recent, is it? That's really cool. That's very different. It's not what I expected at all. Kind of wish with this, you could move the things. Now, I appreciate why you can't, but I kind of wish you could. Like, if these were little slidey sections, and like send it with the finish flag, the P1, the Rye, sure. But like if I could slide it out and slide it in and maybe have some numbers, because this is all a bit of dead space at the bottom here. Um, but that is very cool. I like that. That's a very different circuit sign. I wonder if this is there, because I remember mentioning, or I might not have mentioned it last time, but I definitely looked it up when I was doing something. And um, the pit lanes, like the stroll one we had in the first, the first box these appeared in, they no longer do those. So I wonder if this is their return of the pit board kind of thing. That's cool though. I like that. All right, let's get to this because of course it's a mini circuit. I'm really annoyed I've got two white ones now. This of course is Yas Marina circuit. Where have they put the wording? Good, right at the top there. Don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can, thank you camera. There you go, right at the top there. As you would think to display it on the wall. If on the wall, this is how you would think to display it. Um, that's, again, very cool. There's not really much more to say about these now, except for, yay, I've got another one for my collection. I may have to spray paint the Nürburgring and the, I want to say Misano, black. Because they are white and it is now bugging me because all of the ones we're receiving are black. But another circuit for the wall. Very much like these. Love them when they're in addition to the boxes. We have some, I think, chocolate. It looks like chocolate. None of this is in English. Oh, wait, that bit's in English. Milk chocolate, aerated milk. It's got whey power in, powder in it. Butter fat of animal origin. These words are scaring me. I'm gonna stop reading. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try a bit. I'm gonna eat some chocolate. And now, I know you're probably all still mad at me for not eating the spicy chocolate or the spicy sweets in the last one, but tough. Flame drive crate. Ooh, smells nice. Sorry. Chocolate. It's really crumbly. I don't know if you can see. If I do it this there, you can see now there's like those little they're little they're little holes, but they're like air bubbles. So I wonder how. Oh. Oh, it's like an arrow on the inside. Aerated milk. Well, this is exciting. It smells good. That is <laughs> like 
take an arrow, probably burn it a little bit. It's got a little bit of a um, edge to it, which it's not burnt, but it's like on its way to being. Charred arrow. It's nice. I like it. <gasps> of course, the line is back. Oh, man, they're all back. Exciting. Whoa. One thing at a time. Oh, this is cool. It's like a little pixelated cup. Does that thing move? It says, Abby Darby Grand Prix spinning magnet. It should be like this in the packet. God, this is so cool. These are really good. This almost feels like an end of season box though. I feel like we're one premature with this. This would have been a great December box, but I do understand why it's not. Yes, look. <laughs> Yay, donuts for days. Very cool thing though. A very cool way to have a magnet that's not just another magnet. I like that a lot. Good job across the line. Very cool little product. All right, let's find out what this merch is. It feels like a bag. Oh, this is the last thing in the box as well. It's a well done, but it is. Oh my God, it's a full on backpack. S Morgan Racing. Okay, so this is, uh, sorry, Rebel Racing. This is uh, obviously last year's. Um, that's cool, nice size bag. It's, I mean, it's, it's a backpack. Front pouch, that's only little. It's quite a basic bag actually, to be fair. Zip, zip, it does zip all the way down. Um, no inner pockets, no side pockets, just that front pouch and then the main section in the back. It, it is what it is, it's a bag. It's a very nice little bag. Um, again, this stumbles into the, if you're not a Red Bull fan, this is definitely not the product for you. Um, but I do feel like they must have some affiliation with Red Bull more than others because a lot of the merch we get in these boxes are Red Bull. But that's everything, that's all that's in the box. Sorry, there's a little bit of an anticlimactic the end. I thought there was something else hidden under the bag, but there wasn't. Let's move this out the way. Let's have a little look at what we had in our box for our championship showdown. There's a quote from Toto Wolf in it, actually, his lovely quote from the weekend, not the weekend. Oh, there's a did you know on the start? Have I been missing did you knows? Have there always been did you knows on the front page? Or is that new? I'm gonna have to find an old box to confirm. Hang on. I always completely ignore the front page. <gasps> no, I've been missing, did you know? Shit. This is August's box. I need to sort this room out. Drive crate, you should have told me. Oh, okay. Well, with this, this did you know it's on the front page? The front page is more important than I thought. Tells you a bit about what's going on in the championship currently. There's a quote from Toto. Whoever is in front is absolutely going to try and do the same as in the Senna Pros years. I hope not. I'll be really angry if that's her end. But our cheeky little hidden did you know, didn't know these were here. Did you know? Mercedes are fighting for the title. However, Valtteri Bottas is having a challenging year at Mercedes. Having scored pole in Mexico, the Finn finished 15th. The worst result in history for a pole sitter who has not retired from the race. I don't think we've been missing much. Wait! There's a bag in the bag? Wait! Where? Where is my bag in the bag? Where is my bag in the bag? It says I have a bag in the bag. Where is this bag in a bag? I'm really confused. There is a zip on the inside. I'm confused. How does this work? No way! It folds into itself. I won't zip it up because it's still got the label and that's restricting it, but there you go. Not just any bag. Okay, let's talk about what's inside the box, shall we? In the November box, we had official Red Bull racing bag. Title protagonist Red Bull will be looking to avoid a repeat of their massive Silverstone crash in the final few races of the season. This great piece of official team kit packs away into a built-in travel pouch for when you're on the go. Circuit signs, moments, pit board. Say farewell to the Iceman with this great piece from the new Circuit Signs Moments Collection. Perhaps Raikkonen's most famous victory in the sport. Kimi really did know what he was doing when he took victory at the 2012 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Across the line, Abu Dhabi spinning magnet. Donuts have recently become a bit of a tradition at the end of the season Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Celebrate this great moment with this unique item featuring a magnetic backing and an awesome spinning car. Yas Marina track art. 
Another one for your collection, thank you Drive Crate. You can see how the new layout has changed the circuit dramatically. Average speeds have increased with lap times expected to drop by 10 to 15 seconds. Dang. Aerated Russian chocolate. It's Russian. Why have I got Russian chocolate in my desert box, Drive Crate? Shouldn't that have been in the one before now? This year's Russian Grand Prix was a crucial moment in the championship as we saw Hamilton emerge victorious in the changing conditions whilst Verstappen fought from the back to take P2. And finally, WDC trophy sticker. The biggest achievement in motorsport, the stunning World Drivers' Championship trophy is a pride every driver wants to receive. Whose will it be this year? Ooh, okay, book is different, book is different. Alert, book is different. Here we have Down to the Wire, which is talking about the season here um, and some nice shots from the season here um, ahead of the final few and a shot from, I assume that's Abu Dhabi last year because we haven't been there yet. Um, okay, this is weird. This is really weird. No did you knows. I sneaked a peek ahead. I don't know why I didn't play the didn't. This is different. So this is obviously because Jed is completely new. La Salle was completely new before we raced there. And then obviously Abu Dhabi. This is the last three races of the season, which now thinking about it, yes, they are all <laughs> in the Middle East, all desert races. So that makes sense why they're all in here. Interesting that uh, here are the changes. So the chicane is missing at T5 and T9 is very different now. That's what different. So um, the circuit we have here is the new layout not the old layout i do not already have an abu dhabi on the wall so i don't have the old layout at all um <clears throat> but this is the change layout i'm not sure i'm a fan of this way of presenting the tracks i kind of liked the little bit of info i mean i know i never read the page on the left but i always liked the little bit of info the little bit of did you knows obviously there's not a great deal here there wasn't a great deal here and there was no imagery there is now for this but there was probably no imagery for these two circuits when they went into production of this box so i get why they've done it i'm just not a fan of the way that's presented in the book i like this though this page about the championship that's cool and i also still really liked that page we had way back when um when you actually had like the calendar in the back that was cool so that's everything that's in the box some of the things i just want to mention about this box now we've got it we've opened it we've seen the um theme I did mention it in the video. This does feel like an end of season theme. I don't know whether this would have sorted better in December. I understand why it's come out in November. The La Salle circuit in here um, was a November race. The other two are December races. It just feels very end of season-y. And like, depending on whomever wins the championship, I don't think there's going to be enough turnaround time for Drive Crate to be able to tweak the box to fit that. Don't know though, because I don't know what their turnaround times are. I don't know when they release these things. I don't know when they um, send them off or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if this theme works for a... I get what you're doing. You're setting up the end of the season and I kind of, I'm okay with that. I just don't know if you've gone too heavy on the championship side of things for me to want this as a penultimate box for the year, if you will. But like I said, I do get it. Um, I'm also slightly annoyed now to find out that the chocolate was a product of Russia, which I guess I should have noticed, considering it didn't have Arabic on it, it had um, a Russian on it, funnily enough. Um, a little bit annoyed about that, I do wonder why that's happened. I don't know, it just feels weird to have a product from Russia in the desert box. I don't know why we couldn't have an Emirates treat or something along these lines. Don't get me wrong, I like the chocolate, it was very nice, it just definitely did not feel like it fitted in this bag in this box sorry with everything else whereas everything else made sense most of it hit bang on the head the raikkonen circuit signs board i get now i get it it makes perfect sense why it's in here so the russian chocolate's just a little out of place in my mind and i kind of wish we'd have had an emirates treat to go with our jewel in the desert but that being said Let's talk about favourites and least favourites, which is going to be difficult because I really love this sticker. Um, and I may be giving my favourite to a sticker. It's just so shiny. I just feel like the, you know, they're not coming commonplace, but the circuits are what they are. I think when we first started getting them, they were extremely exciting. And do not get me wrong, I love getting them in the box. Absolutely adore it. Love building out the thing I've got on my wall um absolutely love that so i don't mind getting them i love getting them but they have just kind of become 
staples of the box is always like a yay another circuit when we get one not a, wow look at this product isn't it amazing like we did initially um that's no smite on drive crate that's certainly no smite on world circuit map uh, world circuit art like i said i have zero problem receiving these i love receiving them it's certainly not my least favorite product in the box it's just not my favorite because it is what it is uh what is i like the magnet as well the magnet was really cool the sticker the magnet's cool what else do we have the circuit sign is also very very cool but because I wish this was a little bit more interactive, and even if not, it's just a bit of dead space, I feel like they could have filled those other lines. For that, that doesn't take it. Those two certainly aren't taking it. So I'm going to go with my favourites are the very shiny World Drivers Championship Trophy sticker and the spinning across the line magnet. Um, very cool, very, very clever way of displaying Abu Dhabi, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix very nice nod to as the book said a more commonly occurring occurrence um at this grand prix that whether we'll get it this year will be remain to be seen um i'm sure we'll get it from one of two cars least favorite is hard because in terms of theme my least favorite should be the chocolate and i think it's gonna have to be because everything else is these two certainly are not gonna be my least favorite the bag it just is i mean i can't really i think i've said this before i can't really rate the merch products because yeah for me i'm really probably not going to use this and i'll probably just donate it to a charity shop right um because there's no point in me keeping it here and it gaining dust someone who wants to use it and have it may as well have it rather than me um, and that's what i do do with a few of the things that i've got in this box so i'm just never going to have them or use them or whatever i just donate them to charity because someone else may as well have them more than i want them so that being said because i feel like i can't really i can't rate the merch down just because it's not the team i want it to be and because of that it is gonna have to be the chocolate now don't get me wrong i really like the chocolate but thematically a russian chocolate in a desert box doesn't make sense to me at all and for that reason and that reason alone that is why this becomes the least favorite product of the box but that is everything i have to show you today do let me know down in the coffee pot if you get this box what you liked in it what you didn't like in it and if you don't get this box let me know your thoughts about this box in comparison to some of the others we've had for me personally this year april's box the imola box and september's box the us box still stand out as the best boxes we had this year imola by far the april box was still remains to be my favorite and a box that just felt so complete and everything fit and everything worked so well and the products we got were amazing still remains to be my favorite drive crate box we've ever got uh, there'll be a link to that one down in the description box if you haven't had the pleasure of watching it um but yeah let me know what you think let me know what you think they're gonna do for their christmas box as well last year we had the celebration box of everything across the season so maybe they'll do something like that again but let me know your thoughts feelings and everything down in the coffee pot down below and we will continue this conversation down there but for now thank you so much for hanging out with me today it's been an absolute blast as always if you enjoyed this video go show that like button some good old-fashioned love and if you want to support the channel go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss next time i upload a video stay awesome and i will see you all in the next video it's russian i'm just mad you put russian chocolate in my desert box and it doesn't make any damn sense